Today I want to show you one really great trick and that's how to make a planet with just one click. Well, it's a rhyme, unintentionally. Let's start! Hey guys, it's Nemanja and welcome to another fun episode. Today I want to show you two different methods how to create planets in Photoshop with basically just one click. So let's jump straight into Photoshop and let's have fun. Alright guys, for creating a planet in Photoshop you will basically need any kind of texture image that you want your planet to look like. So I have few of them here, as you can see, and I will start with this one. And let me show you the first method that it's really, really easy. So for that you will need elliptical marquee tool and just press and hold shift and create a perfect circle. If you want to move circle to change a different portion of this texture, just press and hold spacebar and move it by holding a spacebar. So I want to choose maybe this part of an image to be a planet, right? And when you're done with this, just go to the filter, distort and spherize. And you have this amount option that you need to put it all the way to the 100% and the mode to normal, just press OK and you have a planet. Just extra extract it from a background with Control or Command J on a keyboard and that's it. As you can see, we have really, really great planets, so easy. Let's create a new layer and fill it with the black to fill it with the foreground color, press uh, Alt or Option key with the backspace, like so and that's it. Guys, it's so easy, basically one click, just go to the filter and and click the swear is option, that's that's it. If you want to emphasize the planet even more, it's an option, of course, you can press Control or Command key and click on this layer to load the selection right here, and then go to filter and just, just repeat the last filter, it's fair is. And now it's even uh, more emphasized the, the shape of that sphere. If you don't like that, I will leave it like the first one, but some textures need to, to recreate that, to repeat that process, all right? And now you can play with that. You can add some different kind of light, lighting uh, uh, effect on, on this sphere. The easiest way is to use a new layer, clip it to the sphere here, to the planet. Let's name this planet, all right? And put it in a soft light or overlay blending mode, depend on the strength of effect you want to achieve and go to here to gradient effect. Use the black and white colors. If you have some other colors here, maybe red and I don't know, any kind of colors that you have and you want really quickly to uh, switch to black and white to default colors, just press D on a keyboard like so and you have default colors and use this first one uh, to black to, to white, foreground to background color and press OK and just like so, put it, put the gradient here and you have nice results. You have even better representation of a sphere, of an oval shape uh, of that planet. And that's really great. You can always move that to have more shadows here or less shadows, depending on light, uh, lighting condition you want to achieve. The second way it's uh, perhaps, let's, let's uh, hide this. Second way is just create a normal layer, use a black brush really soft one and just paint it with 20% or so opacity depends of what you want to to have uh, and just maybe you want to make this part all the way dark like almost completely black and that's one one effect or you can add curves and then brighten some parts of the planet and of course put a mask and invert it and then brighten just this part of the planet and as you can see we have let's group this in a group right and we have really really nice planet we can make it smaller and bigger and that's it you can put this planet layer anywhere you want you can put it on some night sky to create some abstract planet uh, over the uh, night sky or you can create some sci-fi scene where some a TIE fighter and X-Wings, maybe from uh, Star Wars, are fighting between the planets and so on and so on. Your imagination, it's the limit. So let me show you on this example. Actually, let's use let's use this one. Uh, and then I will show you on other two. Let me show you the another method. So first, let me show you again the same method, the first one. 
And then let's compare to the second method where basically I will have again one click to create a plan. Just create again the selection, circular selection, use ecliptic, elliptic, not ecliptic, elliptic marquee tool, right? And just create selection, go here, repeat this spherize filter, or you can go to distort and spherize. I will just repeat it and control command J to extract it out of the background. That's it. We have really, really nice planet here and let's create a new layer fill it with black just to have better view of the planet we can make it bigger or smaller and that's really really nice and let's move, uh, undo this few times right and let me show you now the second method it's uh, it's my favorite method i prefer the second over the first one but the first one it's really good especially for you guys who have older version of photoshop and you don't have a 3d uh 3D implementation in Photoshop. So the second method is like this. Let's just uh, copy this layer just to have it as a backup and I will create black uh, background here. This is just as a backup, all right? You have any texture um, file you want, any kind of texture you want, right? And just go here to 3D, new mesh from a layer, and then go here to mesh presets and you can choose anything you want, but in this case, we will choose a sphere and watch what will happen when I click the sphere. And the Photoshop will ask you uh, if you're, you're about to create a 3D layer, would you like to switch to 3D workspace? And maybe for you guys, it's easier to switch to 3D workspace because of the 3D layout of the tools, but I will leave uh, this workspace because I used to work in this kind of workspace and that's it. And you can see with just that one click, Photoshop will make a planet automatically for you. And now we are in 3D workspace. And here we have a 3D a tab. And uh, here we have a layers. And if you can see, uh, we have a sphere here. You don't have to worry about anything here if you're not familiar with the 3D work in Photoshop, but just go to 3D tab and click on the sphere because you want to uh, move the sphere. and find this rotation tool and just move the sphere. You can move it all around however you want because now this is a 3D object and that's the beauty of this kind of uh, making a planet. So maybe I like this part of the planet and default was like so, but now I have opportunity to choose uh, which part of the planet I will use for my photo and I really like this one actually. So let me see. Let's use this part of the planet. And that's it. I can I can finish with that here. But I can do a few more things here. I can even change the light position and the shadows and so on. And that's really easy to here in 3D tab. You just go to infinite light one because we have only one light and you can move here a light as you can see. We are moving the light and the planets it's lit from different directions depends on how you move this light handle and this is really really nice and easy let me show you if i create a white background layer to see the shadow and everything right and let's go here to our planet let's rename this to planet right and if i move this handle i will move the shadow and the light and that's a beauty of 3d world because you can have everything and the shadow and the shape and light everything in same time right and perhaps i don't want this shadow maybe i will have this uh, planet in space and i really don't want this shadow so how to disable the shadow just double click on the infinite light here and you will have properties dialog box and just uncheck the shadow and that's it just uncheck the shadow or if you want to have a brighter light you can just move this slider and have brighter light, right? And that's it. I like something like so. And if you're satisfied with this, you can just click on some other layer to see the result. Let's switch this to black uh, to see how it will be in space. And I really, really like that. And you can leave uh, this planet like so on 3D layer. You can leave it like so because you can always go back to this 3D world and go to the sphere and move it left and right up and down and you can rotate it maybe you you change your mind maybe you want this part of the planet i don't know 
that's great because it's non destructive way. But if you're sure that you want to leave the planet like so, then you can go here to the planet layer, right click and go to rasterize 3D. And that's it. Now you have just a regular layer and you can do everything that you can do normally with any other layer in Photoshop. You can move it, make it bigger and smaller and so on and so on. And that's really, really nice and powerful way to create a planet in 3D space with just basically one click. I really love this. So let's go to another document here. This is the unwrapped moon surface. And if you want to create moon from uh, this photo, beautiful and easy task to do. Let me show you on both examples first. Let's duplicate this. And if I want to create move a move moon with the first method, let's create selection, go to filter sphere eyes, and that's it. Just extract it. I have a moon, but it's this kind of moon. It's not bad. It's really, really nice result. And you can again add some uh, dodge and burn here to make even better effect that better impression that this is a sphere or you don't need to do depends on the lighting situation of your photo where you want to paste this moon. But let me show you here if we go to 3D new mesh from layer and then mesh preset sphere just one click. All right, I don't want to go to 3D workspace. See, let's uncheck this. See how this moon, let's choose a sphere here, how this moon it's beautifully, beautifully presented here. We can choose any side of the moon that we want. And of course, we can click here on the light or here on the light and just just move the light. All right. And I will not uh, show you other tips and tricks with the light in this tutorials because that's a little bit more complex. But this is the thing that you need to know. Just move the light around and you can have a lot of great results. And if you're Finish with that, you can always go back and let's let's add a background here. Let me see, I have one background actually, I have this one, let's copy it and let's go back to the moon, paste it right here, right? Let's make it bigger. And I don't like the shadow because now everything is in space, I don't like the shadow. So let's go here to the this 3D layer. You have a cube here that uh, it's a representation that this layer, it's a 3D. I will just rename this, double click and rename moon, moon, okay, and now I will hide the shadow. So how to hide the shadow? Let me show you one more time. Go here to 3D uh, tab, just go to the light, double click it and uncheck the shadow. And that's it. Now we have a moon and we can move that moon and do whatever we want with, with the moon right we don't want to move the light we don't we want to move the sphere right and we can make it bigger or smaller or if you choose a move tool we can move it somewhere here maybe and let's make it smaller like so and then we can do whatever we want we can create a new layer about that clip it down below and use a white uh, actually black color brush and with 20 percent opacity just emphasize this shadow here make it even darker and you can do anything that you want like a normal layer use curves or use a hue and saturation use anything that you want to to make uh, this moon even better so let's make this part brighter and that's it right and let's just use this planet and this texture and create a planet just go 3d new mesh Mesh from preset and sphere and just one click, guys, just one click, we have this really, really great planet. And it's beautiful, beautiful that we can rotate it and choose any part of it. This is where the texture are um, gluing together and we don't have a seamless texture. So this is why we have this line. We can create a seamless texture out of this one and I can show you that. Why not? Let me show you how you can create a seamless, seamless texture out of this one. So let's undo a few times, right? And let me see. Right, I need to go all the way back to the beginning. Let me show you how to create seamless texture. Let's duplicate this texture. And because uh, the right side and the left side of the texture will bend and 
put together one bes beside another. It will basically glue uh, left to the right side and up to the down when you make a sphere, right? And to make that seamless, let's use one trick. Just choose rectangular marquee tool, use this portion of a layer like so, control or command J to copy it, or even better, if you don't know the shortcut, sure shortcut it's control shift J or command shift J. It's here layer, new layer, we are cut, all right? We want to cut that part and move, let's hide the background. Let's move this part all the way here, like so. And now let's make a mask and we need to blend this with the mask and black color, 100% opacity and just blend this two layers together like so, right? That's really, really nice. Let me see. And that's great. And now if we merge everything together with famous shortcut shift control alt E or shift command option E on a Mac, we will have that as a separate layer, as you can see. And now if I have a copy of that and move that copy all the way to the all the way to the right side, see it blends seamlessly. That's really, really nice. And before we create a planet out of this texture, we need to do one more thing and that's to crop this uh, document to fit only the texture. So let's do that. Uh, all right, let's click uh, control or command and click on this layer here and we will select only the texture and just go to uh, image and crop, all right? And now we cropped this image, uh, this uh, document only where the image is. And that's great. Now we can create the planet out of this texture. So let's go to 3D, uh, first to select the texture, then go to 3D, new mesh from layer and mesh preset sphere. And you will see beautiful, beautiful planet with seamless texture. Let's go to sphere here and let's rotate the sphere and you will see this is a seamless, seamless planet. We don't have that line. We can rotate the whole workspace. We don't have that line anymore. It's really, really nice method to get rid of that line and to create a seamless planet. All right, guys, that would be it for today. I hope that you liked this tutorial and that you learned something new out of it. This was two really easy and fun methods how to create planet in Photoshop with just basically one click. This is really, really fast and easy way. So you can use that method to create a lot of planets or just one planet and put it in your scene and create really, really beautiful and fun photo manipulation. So if you have any question regarding to this episode, please leave them in the comments below. I will be glad to answer them. Thank you so much guys for following me and supporting this channel and for all new viewers, I would love to have you as a subscribers. So if you like this episode and find it useful, let's subscribe, ring that bell to get notified anytime I release new episode and be the part of this creative journey. See you next week in the next fun episode. Bye bye.